Hi and welcome to the second part of the Island Stroll Cal, that is the Oh I Adore Square. I'm Tess from Sister Sin Stitch and we have teamed up with the amazing team over at Yarn and Colors to bring you these two gorgeous projects. Depending on which yarn you use, you'll either make a pillow or a blanket in this cal that is going on for 11 weeks with the start of the 6th of May 2022. We hope you're having lots of fun with it and yeah. Let's get going. So to make this square in exactly the same colors and all, you will be using six colors of Yarn and Colors Must Have in the colors Mustard, Old Pink, Pearl, Cream, Limestone and Ekru. And with it we have used a three millimeter hook, a scissor and the darning needle to weave in those ends. And if you are making the blanket, and you look at this one, she's gorgeous. Uh, you will be using the super must-haves together with a six millimeter hook. There is quite a size difference in these two. When finished, the pillow version measures 12 and a half times 12 and a half centimeters, whilst the blanket one measures a whopping 23 centimeters side to side. And this is a non-blocking project, so you don't have to block them. The projects will block themselves out, okay? when you put it all together for the blanket as well as for the pillow when you put the pillow insert inside. And if you're making one of the other two colorways, walk in the woods or stroll by the sea, all the info is placed down below as well as in the written pattern. And in this video tutorial, you know, the dividers that show you which round you are at, below there you can find exactly what yarn color you are using for that round. And as always, with us here at Sisters in Stitch, we use US terminology throughout, but you can find all the abbreviations, the terminology that we are using, along with a UK and Swedish stitch guide in the written pattern on our homepage at sistersinstitch.com, which is also linked here below in the info box. So if you have any questions, any wonders, uh, or just want to leave a lovely little comment, do so below here and we'll get back to you shortly. So yeah, let's begin. So to begin, we start with our main color and make a magic circle. And you can, of course, do a chain start too if you want to, but I think this gives the neatest closure. So I'm using a magic circle. Into this magic circle, we are doing six single crochets and I'm beginning with a standing stitch. So one, two, three, four, five and six like that and then i simply pull the thread back down the center and tighten there we go and then we close this round with a slip stitch into the very first stitch because we're using the same yarn for our upcoming round and this is how it looks so i will actually go ahead now and secure my yarn end on the back because I want this to be stay really tight and nice when I do the popcorn rounds. But you can save it and tighten it afterwards if you want to, okay? So for our second round, we are going to do one popcorn in each stitch across. So six ones in total. And I will start mine off with a standing stitch. So we are doing a four double crochet popcorn, which means we are starting with a standing double crochet. So I'm just raising my loop to the height of a double crochet, going around and back, grabbing the yarn, going around the back to the front again, like that, having two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both. And it's usually not this tricky. There we go. <laughs> it's usually quite smooth, but this time it messed with me a little bit. But do that and then we do three more double crochets into the same stitch. So one and two, three, and four, like that. And then we slightly raise the loop so we don't drop it, like that, and go into our very first stitch, which was our standing double crochet, or a chain, the very last of your standing chain. Grab the loop again, and pulling it through like that. 
And then we close with a chain that is part of the popcorn stitch. It's not a chain stitch, it's a closing stitch, okay? So we are diving right in and doing another popcorn into the next stitch. So four double crochets into the same stitch. So we have one and two, three and four. Like that, raising the loop slightly, going into the very first of our four, grabbing the loop back and pulling through and close with a chain stitch. That's it, so go ahead and do that four more times and meet me up to close and we are not fastening off our ends because we are carrying on with the same color for the next round too, okay? See you in a bit. So I'm all the way through. I have now one, two, three, four, five, six popcorns and a closing chain. And then to end this round, we are simply going into the center of the popcorn and doing a slip stitch right in the middle of it. So it's right in the center. I will show you once more if you are a little bit uncertain to where that is. You see your popcorn here. Take one that I haven't worked in. <laughs> you have one double crochet here, you have one double crochet here, one here and one here. So you will go right in between here. So you have two loops on that side and two loops on that side. Do you see? So just go in and into this space in the middle of it. That is where you want to place your slip stitches. And now we are continuing on with our popcorn feast. So we are making ourselves a slip stitch into the closing space between the popcorns. And then again, we are making a popcorn. So we're starting off with a standing stitch or a chain start if you prefer that and do a double crochet. And then we do three more around the same space. So just one, two and three, four, raising the loop and dropping it. Going into that very first stitch, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Grabbing the loop back and pulling through. And then we chain one to close. And now we are also doing a chain as in the pattern. So now, in fact, we have two chains here, but it only counts as a chain one space. Okay, because that first one was part of the popcorn. And now we are making our second popcorn here. We are doubling up on popcorns. So we are just going around the same space again. Just scooch them over a bit, the other stitches, if you feel like it's tight. And then make four double crochets. Like that. Raising the loop, going through the first, grabbing the loop back again, pulling through and close with the chain that is part of the stitch and not on its own, okay? And then chain one. And then we will repeat this in all the spaces around. So I will do one more with you, okay? So just go around the next space that is placed between the popcorns. If you are having a hard time finding it, just separate them like this and you'll see it's in around here that you will work, okay? So make sure to go around that and not into one of the popcorns. So here we go. And if you find this way too tight for you, this space, go ahead and redo this round and just add another chain one in here. It doesn't matter, but it will be a little bit more room to work in. Okay, so close and chain one. And then we are doing another popcorn here. So it depends on how your tension is, I feel. Like with all patterns, you may have to give yourself a little bit more of a wiggle room. It can also depend on what yarn you are using. If you are using something with a very good elastic to it, you might not feel like these spaces are tight. But if you are using cotton and if you are tight tension crocheted, this might feel small. Okay, so just a little tip. I think it works absolutely fine for me. So uh, I have only done the closing chain here and not a chain one. So this is all you do. You do two popcorns with a chain in between them in each base, separating them with a chain one between the popcorn sets as well. Okay, so popcorn, chain one, popcorn, chain one, popcorn, chain one, popcorn, chain one, and so on. So go ahead and then meet me up to close. See you in a bit. And here we have it, our popcorn beginning that is oh so lovely. <laughs> it's just so much fun. 
I mean, this is texture for sure. Simple texture, but effective. So you should have, as I said, six sets of two popcorns with a chain one in between and a chain one that separates them, okay? So what we'll do now, and again, we are slip stitching into the very center of the first popcorn, like that. And then we can carry on with round number four. So for round number four, we are going to create very simple spaces for our pedals to be worked in. So this slip stitch that you made to close your round for round three is actually our first slip stitch of the repeat, okay? So we have slip stitched into our next popcorn and then we are chaining eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, like that. And then we simply slip stitch into the center of our next popcorn, okay? And that is all that we are going to do. So chain eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slip stitch into the next. Whoops. And there you go. Don't go into the popcorn stitch, but into the center of it, okay? We want it to still be as pretty. So just slip stitch and chain eight, slip stitch, chain eight, all the way around and meet me to close, okay? So this is the last round we are using the same color. Next one, we will be doing another lovely one, okay? See you in a bit. So when you have come to this point, it's really easy to miss the very last chain eight space here because yeah, it looks like you're done, right? You have your chain spaces and everything, but it should be 12. So double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I don't have my final one, so I'm doing that like this. We have four chains, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is the one we are closing with an invisible join to the second stitch, okay? So we are simply cutting our yarn, grabbing our needle, and then we are finding our first chain st stitch and go through the front loops with the back on the back, and then just tighten like that. And then we make sure that our chain is looking to the front. You want these pretty V's laying right so it doesn't twirl. And then you go through the back loop of your last chain, the eighth one that you made, and just pulling it tight, but not too tight, like that. And then you go right down to where you have the most yarn, okay? You always try to fasten off to the place where you have the most amount to hide in because that will be the most invisible place so i'm just going here now back and forth a few times oh <laughs> i'm stuck on something there we go so this is all i will do and it will look like this when you are finished okay so fasten off your ends and meet me up for our pedal round well done So for round number five, we are actually going to do the part that made me name this square, oh, I adore, which means, oh, I love this in French. And this is the lovely, like, layered texture where you go one front, one back, one front, one back. And this is created simply by making this section first, and then we are layering this one after. So you are going to love this, I hope, because this is absolutely a joy to do. So for this round, we are doing a popcorn in between a set of two popcorns while skipping the chain eight chain that is placed behind it and then work a pedal in the next and so on and so on. So we're skipping every other chain eight, okay? I'll show you, just follow along and it will be crystal clear. So to begin, we choose a set of two popcorns and then just fold the chain eight lightly to the back because we want to only work in the chain one space here, okay? So we're going around it and I'm working with a standing double crochet. And so you can do also a chain start, of course. But then we do three more. So one, two, three, and four. Double crochets around the chain space to make our first popcorn. So grab the loop and pull through and close with the chain like that. And then 
we are keeping this to the back and going directly into the next chain eight space that I've placed between two sets. Do you see this is one set and this is the other set. So we're going into this one and doing six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we do a double crochet to get a little bit of a height like that and chain two yarn over and do another double crochet around the same chain space and now i'm just going to scooch this over because i want some room to do six more half double crochets so one and two three four five and six like that so cute so this is our first pedal and now i will do this repeat with you one more time and then you're on your own <laughs> or not really you can always rewind and just double check everything okay and also slow down the speed of the play if you want it to go a bit slower so we are putting our chain eight to the back to get a hold of our chain one space placed between a set of two popcorns and make a popcorn. So one double crochet, two, three, and four, like that. Grabbing the first and close with the chain. Easy peasy, we still have our chain eight to the back. And then around the next, we do six half double crochets. One, and there went the sun. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, four, five, and six. Oh, I hope it doesn't get too dark. <laughs> we'll see. And then we do a double crochet. Chain two to get the peak of our pedal and then do a mirroring down. So a double crochet and six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So keep on doing this all the way around. So a popcorn between a set of two popcorns while skipping the chain eight that is placed behind working a pedal around the next chain eight space, skipping the center here and so on and so on. So we are working every other space and every other chain, okay? Do that and meet me up the close. And here we go, I have finished my last pedal and I will now cut the yarn and fasten off with an invisible join to the second stitch, which is actually the closing chain of our popcorn. And I will hide the ends probably do one here and one down there okay now just double check that you have all six pedals and all your six popcorns and that they are placed in between each pedal do you see the pattern popcorn pedal popcorn pedal all the way around and if you flip it to the back side you can also see right here that you have your one two three four five six chain eight spaces equally divided with the popcorn in them so this is how it's supposed to look because now next time we are working in those unworked chain spaces and around the chain eight chains also that are peeking up from the behind here okay so fast enough and meet me up for round number six <laughs> i had to double check it goes quickly now so yeah i hope you're having a lovely time see you in a little bit So find yourself an unworked chain one space and fold the pedal back so you can work around it without it being in the way and do a standing double crochet or a chain double crochet start. And then you make three more to form a popcorn. So one and two, three and four, like that. Going through the first, Grabbing the yarn, pulling it through, and close with the chain stitch. 
chain one more and then we are doing another popcorn to shape our lovely little heart so it's so sweet <laughs> so we'll see here we have three and now four double crochets and go through the first grab the yarn pull through and close with the chain and now we're chaining two more because we are stretching back to our little unworked chain eight that we are peeking here so go around it and make four half double crochets so this will be a repeat of the other petal but smaller because it's hiding behind it so one two three four and then a double crochet chain two oh sorry for the mess <laughs> and then a double crochet and then four half double crochets to mirror the other side so one two three and four like that do you see it's starting to it's starting to begin <laughs> and it's adorable so now we are simply ignoring this pedal placing it to the back and do another set of two popcorns with a chain in between so i think this is quite a fun run because you go up and down up and down <laughs> back and forth it's just a very popping round for sure so you finished your first popcorn close with the chain and then chain one more and do your second popcorn one two three and four double crochets going through the first and pull through close one to chain and chain two to cross over to the next unworked chain eight space where you will place four half double crochets so one two three and four followed by a double crochet and a chain two scooch it a little bit so it's easy to work and then mirror down with a double crochet a half double crochet times four so we have one two three and four and that's it this is all that we do we are making sets of popcorns and then petals that are placed behind so it's going to be adorable i love this run so go ahead and do this four more times and meet me up to close okay and here we have it we have gone all the way around and you now have these lovely layered petals with the heart shaped popcorns placed in between them i love how this plays with the high and low lights i think it's so cute and yeah couldn't be happier with it so what i will do now is i will do an invisible join to the second stitch being the closing chain of the popcorn and then i will fasten this off as well both hiding well in this section over here okay because there is where you have the most thread and it will not interfere with the pedal shapes so that's my tip to you so go ahead and fasten off and see me for round number seven time to square for this round we are only working around the chain two spaces placed in the top of a pedal okay so we're simply beginning in any chain two space of our previous round with a standing single crochet like that and then we chain six one two three four five and six we are going to the next pedal which will be the one from round number five and do a single crochet chain six one two three four five and six heading into the next one and making a single crochet so do this all the way around and meet me up to close and we will be keep on using the same color for the next round so don't fasten it off okay see you in a little bit 
And now we have come all the way around. We should have one single crochet placed in the top of each petal around the chain two space and then having a chain six placed in between them, okay? So just double check that and then close with a slip stitch to the first stitch and meet me up for round number eight. For round number eight, it's said to slip stitch into the next chain six space and do a standing single crochet and begin that way. But we are actually going to do it a little bit different here in the video tutorial, okay? Because here I can show you an easy, neat trick. And that is to begin with the very last stitch of this round instead of the first. So we are doing a single crochet two together over these two spaces, okay? Watch me and you'll see. And if you think it's too tricky, just slip stitch in here and do it as the panel says, okay? So what you will do is you will go into, back into this chain space to the right, grabbing the yarn and pulling up a loop like that. And then you will go into our next one, grabbing the yarn, pulling up a loop. You should now have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And there you have your very first stitch. Okay, and then you go into the next chain space and do eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like that. And then we do another single crochet two together over the chain spaces. So go and grab your yarn and pull up a loop. Go into the next chain six space, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of them. Like that. And then make eight single crochets around the chain space. So one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is all that we do. We are working our single crochets around the chain space and then working a single crochet decrease stitch over our single crochet. So we're skipping the single crochets in one way, but the head of the stitch still ends up on top of it, okay? So just keep on going around like this and meet me up to close, okay? Have fun! And here we have it, our beautiful eight round, which is just... I just love this one. It looks like a flower in a flower. <laughs> it's super cute. So what I will do now is snip off my yarn and fasten off with an invisible joint to the second stitch, which will be the first single crochet for me. And if you started off with the single crochets, it will be your second one, okay? So do that and meet me up for round number nine. Welcome to round number nine. This is where we start to define our corners and also our sides. So you will find any single crochet two together and start with a standing half finished double crochet. So just go in and pull through two loops, leaving two, yarn over and go into the same stitch again, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pull through two, Yarn over, go into the same stitch again. Yarn over and pull through two. And now you have one, two, three half finished double crochets with four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four. And then you chain three. So one and two and three. And now we're doing this three more times. So we will have four of these DC3 bubbles and chain three spaces in total. So just go ahead. And this stitch will be a bit packed. Um, there will be a lot of yarn in there, but it will work, promise. So just keep on going to the left side of it and scooching it over as much as you can to go in, okay? So one, two, three, and then chain three. And the final one. Can you see how I place my yarn to the side? of it, making sure that it really doesn't get too tangled in there. Like that. And then we chain three. 
so it will look something like this absolutely gorgeous and now we are skipping all of the other stitches that are placed here and going to the next one and make a single crochet and with the next one i mean of course a single crochet two together and then you chain seven so one two three four five six and seven and then again you skip all of these stitches going into the next single crochet two together and do a single crochet and chain three so i will do this one more time with you so just we're skipping all of these we're only working in the single crochet two together and now we are making our first out of the four tracy two bubbles worked in the same stitch with the chain three in between them so like that chain three one two half finished double crochets and three half finished and chain three and do your third so one two and three and chain three and then just keep on scooching them over okay so one two and three like that and chain three skip all the single crochets and go into the next single crochet two together and make a single crochet like that chain seven one two three four five six seven skipping everyone up until single crochet two together make a single crochet and chain three and skip all the stitches up till the next one so this is all that you do you go around two more times and meet me up to close okay see you in a bit and there we have it we have gone all the way around we have our four corners with sets of fours easy to remember and then you have these kind of straight sides here where we will be placing a lot of half double crochets in the next round but that is for round number 10 so go ahead and cut the yarn fasten off with an invisible joint to the second stitch which is the chain the first chain and yeah hide it behind here best place so this will be our second to last round and for this one we are really going to even out those sides making it even more squared so what you will do is you will find yourself a center chain three space of a quarter and into this one we are making two double crochets i begin with a standing one followed by a normal one and then we chain three so one two and three and then we work two more double crochets around the same chain three space like that and now we are going directly into the chain three space totally skipping the bubble and work two single crochets and now we chain one skipping the next bubble as well and around the chain three space we are making three half double crochets so one two and three chain one skipping the single crochet and into the chain seven space we do three more half double crochets so one two and three then we chain one and then we do three more half double crochets in here okay so one two and three and chaining one skipping this single crochet here and then do three half double crochets around the chain three space the last one before the corner like that and then we chain one and around the next chain three space skipping the bubble work two single crochets and that's it and this is all that we do we do two double crochets in the corner 
chain three, two double crochets, skipping the bubble, making two single crochets around the next chain three space, chain one, skipping the bubble, three half double crochets around the chain three space, chain one, skip the single crochet, working three half double crochets around the chain seven space, chain one, making three more half double crochets around the same chain seven, chain one, skip the next single crochet, three half double crochets around the next chain three space, chaining one, skipping the bubble, two single crochets around the last chain three space. So that is all that we do. We are doing this three more times and then we are closing. So do that and see me over here, okay? Have fun! So now we will bring our lovely mustard back and into a corner chain three space. We are working a standing single crochet to begin with, like that, followed by another, chaining one and working two more single crochets here. So you will have four single crochets and one chain one in here. Then we skip the next stitch and work a single crochet in each stitch across. So if you're counting the corners as well, you should have 28 single crochets per side, okay? With a chain one in the corner. So go into each stitch and around each chain one space. Okay, so I skipped ahead a bit and finished this side because it was a lot of single crochets, but I thought I would come back and just repeat how to do this exactly for the upcoming sides, okay? So in each chain three corner space, you work two single crochets, chain one, two single crochets. Then you skip the next stitch and then you work one single crochet in and around each stitch and chain one space all the way across. So. By coming up here, you should have 28 single crochets and one chain one space. And that's it. We have gone all the way around and we are fastening off with an invisible join to the second stitch, which is the second single crochet of this round, hiding it on the back side. So yeah, do that and meet me up for some final words. It's looking gorgeous. And just like that, we are finished with our gorgeous OI door squares. Both the pillow and the blanket one looks absolutely amazing. I mean, the texture of the center with the popcorns, the heart shaped, the little petals that are peeking up, and also this airy, lovely framing. I mean, they just make my heart sing. I hope you have had lots of fun with it. It should be measuring about 12 and a half centimeters unlocked for the pillow and 23 centimeters for the blanket. And we do not block these because they will block themselves out in their different projects, okay? So you don't have to do that. We're saving us some time. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a little comment below, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification because a new part is being released next Friday and every Friday for nine more weeks, okay? 11 parts in total. I wish you a wonderful day and see you soon.